Hi, this is Glenn White with EuroSafety. In this tutorial, we're going to discuss the variable rotor RPM system that you will find on the AS350B32B1, the AS350B3E, the EC130B4, and the EC130T2. Now, prior to the B3 model of helicopters, the airframes were equipped with a hydromechanical fuel control system that allowed for one rotor RPM. Uh, the engineers knew that a higher rotor RPM in a hover would be beneficial to provide for extra lift. The engineers knew that in forward flight, a slower rotor RPM would provide for a smoother flight. And they knew that at high altitude operations, a higher rotor RPM would provide for that additional lift in that thinner air. Now, since the engineers could only choose one rotor RPM, they chose uh, one somewhat in the middle. So in other words, perhaps not the um, best rotor RPM for any of the given flight parameters. Uh, now, in helicopters equipped with a FADEC control fuel control system, the FADEC can provide for a different rotor RPM at those various flight parameters. Uh, it gives us a higher rotor RPM in a hover, it gives us a slower rotor RPM in forward flight, and it gives us a higher rotor RPM at those high altitude operations. Now, the FADEC has no idea what speed the helicopter is traveling at. It knows the altitude and it knows the outside air temperature, but it doesn't have a speed sensor. The method that the FADEC utilizes to determine what phase of flight the helicopter is in is by looking at the pedal position and the collective position. So if the pilot has a whole bunch of right pedal in and the collective is up, the FADEC determines that you are most likely in a hover. If the pilot has neutral pedals and the collective is up, the FADEC determines you are most likely in forward flight. If the collective is down and the pedals are neutral, it determines you are most likely on the ground that you've landed. Now, the FADEC receives a signal from a potentiometer to let it know what position the pedals are in. In the AS350 models of helicopter, the uh, potentiometer is located at the connection point of the Richard cable to the tail rotor servo um, in the aft bags department right above the uh, liner there. Now in the EC-130 models of helicopters, uh, it's located up front uh, by the pedals. I hope this answers any questions you had on the variable rotor RPM system on the AS350 and the EC-130 models of helicopters. Uh, to get a more thorough base of knowledge on these uh, airframes, I encourage you to enroll in one of our online classes or to uh, attend a in-person Eurosafety training event, and we'll see you at the next Eurosafety educational course.